Okay. All right, now today's class, we're going to talk about um, understanding many stops in a medical setting. Um, whether you're working in an urgent care center, assistant living, nursing home, or a hospital. All right, those are one of the some of the major healthcare facilities out there that you may see this program. All right, now we have an overview. We're going to talk about the things we're going to talk about today. First is how to find a patient, how to enter deposits, applying a payment, how to process a claim. We will get there how to process a claim because there's two ways of doing that. Um, Discuss the difference between electronic claim and a, and a paper base. Um, also, how to find the diagnostic code in, in Medisol, which is codes. We use those for um, insurance to pay their actual um, facilities because in order for the medical facilities to get paid, the codes have to be sent by the, either the medical code and also the medical bill. Um, then we're going to talk about the, the different kinds of insurance out there that are used in healthcare. And we're going to also do a sample report and different kinds of scheduling. And we're going to do a, a little bit of demonstration within um, that particular, inside the program itself so everybody can have a brief understanding. Okay, how to find a patient. Okay, now when we open up Medisoft, Okay, brief moment. Go ahead, take your time. All right. Now we're in Medisol, okay? Now, there are two ways to get into the program, okay? There is, we have these, these icons up here, this activity, but depending on the, the pace of your facility, you want to get things through this program very fast and accurately. So, instead of us going to activities and then going to patient ledger, we're just going to go and press F7. It takes us straight there, very simple, very quickly. Okay, now, we're going to, um, dip in this uh, particular slot there, it says chart, okay? This is where you type in the patient's name and then a couple of uh, names will come up and you just find the patient that you need. For example, we're going to press L and now we have Ms. Mr. Carlos Lopez, right? So, Mr. Carlos Lopez and then we're going to open up his... Try a different record, please. Uh, Try a different record. Harvard Bell. Okay. All right. Cool. All right. Now, transaction history. All right. Now we have the patient's name, Ali Mazaloum. Who? Ali Mazaloum. And um, the code payment overdue, which is zero dollars. Now, when you look over here, obviously this particular Insurance, the insurance has paid. Then either the insurance, if it says adjustment, for example, it's $720.50. Now, there will be some cases where the patient has to pay the entire balance. Okay? And then there will be times where the insurance pays a certain amount, which is, you will see here, adjustment. Okay? Now, in this particular... Uh, <clears throat> Uh, situation, the charges were paid by the client, right? Because there's no um, only time you would only time you know the insurance is paid anything when you have this right here adjustments. Okay. Now we're gonna go to uh. What was the insurance? I was gonna go to. The okay. Now. When I go to this icon right here, it says Blue Cross Blue Shield EDI. That is the insurance that this particular patient is uh, carrying at this time. And this particular... Has um, it been applied? Huh? Has it been applied? Yeah. 
in this particular um, patient's uh, medical uh, insurance uh, claim, the insurance hasn't been applied because when you go back to the over, when you go back to the uh, copayment overdue, first of all, there's zero, it's zero balance, and the adjustment is not there. So that means basically the insurance has not paid. Now. We're going to go back to Medisoft real quick, and then I'll do some more. Okay. We're going to do a second patient. Okay, we're going to do Herbert Bell. is uh, Suzanne Arlene. In this case, the charge is $54. Another, this is another example that the insurance has not paid. Right now, who can tell me what she owes? Uh, right now. 34. 34. All right. Now, who would pay the $34? It's right. Right. Okay. So, uh, prior to our last example, what do you think the problem is with this particular patient's um, record? She only paid 20. Okay, what else? What else needs to be done? She needs to pay the whole amount? No. Her policy is saying that her co-payment is $20. Yeah. Right? Uh-huh. She paid. So, she's already paid her, her part of this particular uh, payment. Mm -hmm. Now, the next person who needs to pay is the insurance. Oh. They have to pay the $34. Okay. Okay, now we, when I, when we, okay, so in order, and there's another way for you to see what kind of insurance that she has. Okay. Right now, she has East Ohio, PPO. Mm. What does PPO stand for? Anybody? Provider. Provider. Organization. All right, all right. Okay, a lot of, um, <clears throat> we're going to go to and, 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 and read about what PPO is. So we get an understanding why PPO is Okay, what is PPO insurance, okay? As a um, PPO insurance, Preferred provider organization. Our, this is one of the most popular types of plans in the individual or family market. PPO plans allow you to visit whatever in-network in, in position or health care provider you wish without first requiring a referral from a primary care physician. All right. So, right, right, right. We'll get into how this works when we get to the slides when we talk about the different healthcare insurances out there. All right, now we're going to go back to the PowerPoint. Now we've already I already gave you a brief. Hmm? I run one. Oh, I've already gave gave you guys a brief um, direction on how to get to the patient. Remember. Try to learn the software as, as efficiently as possible because depending on where, where you work, you want to make sure that you can navigate through things quickly, like using um, shortcuts like F7 to get the um, patient ledger instead of clicking activities. All right, now we'll go to the next slide. How to enter a deposit. Now, we're going to go back to Medisoft so we can go through how to enter a deposit. Alright? So if anybody wants to open up Medisoft and follow along, you can. Now, remember, depending on where you work, okay, for example, what's your major? Um, healthcare. Healthcare administration? Yeah. No, um, healthcare management. Healthcare management. So you'll probably be in the back office. Yeah. Okay? Yeah. 
Medical assistance? Yeah, have splash. Medical assistance and, and So you're doing both? Yeah. Okay. So if you're doing medical assistance, remember you're gonna do you're gonna be at the front. Front, front okay? In the back, yeah. All right. Now we're gonna get before we do this, we're gonna talk about the different codes. Alright, now you see four six six point zero, which is um a diagnostic code, but well, we're going to get to all that. So we just, just follow along to what I'm taking you guys to right now. All right. First, we're going to go back to activities, and we're going to go enter. We're going to go to enter deposits. All right. Now, remember, if you don't go to activities and you don't go to that particular icon, you will not get to this step. Okay? This is crucial to a way of getting for the office to get paid. Mm -hmm. Right? So right now we're going to click new. Okay, now once you click new, the deposit with new in parentheses will come up. We have the pay of type, the payment method, and if it's a check, you do your check number depending on you know how this particular claim is getting paid. Okay? Now, you got payment amount, deposit, code. All right, right now, we're going to name an amount. Who, who can give me an amount, anybody? 560. Hmm? 560. How about $85? Right. Let's do $85. <clears throat> That's the biggest pair of health care is Medicaid and Medicare. Yes. Yeah. And you might not do Whatever, What is Medicare for? What type of people is it? The elderly. Elderly, very good. Yeah, and, and the elderly. Medicaid's for the what? Low income. Good job. You the best. Very good. Yes! <laughs> you! <Yeah>. Alright, now, <laughs> you want to go so uh, and see, apply. Click on Herbert Bell, which is one of the patients. Alright, now, on this, <coughs> now, this is an error. Now, I want y'all to pay close attention. We chose Medicaid, right? Medicare, right? Now, when we clicked on the patient, the insurance didn't match up. So you gotta make sure the insurance matches up with the patient. Yeah, of course, you got it different. Yes, or what will happen? The reimbursement will be denied. Yeah. Okay. So now we're gonna press cancel. Now we know it's East Ohio, right? Yeah. Okay. Now, and also the amount has to be right too. Okay. So you can't say eighty-five dollars and fifty cents if they only owe thirty-four dollars. Oh. Oh. Okay. That is a form of upcoding. Yeah. Right? Okay. Right now we're going to go back. We're going to go back to Herbert's medical records. Okay? Uh -huh. 